More continuous coverage of CES 2012 from thedroidguy.com. I work for uh, Modular Robotics, and our product is Cubelets. It's a uh, robotic construction kit for kids. Sweet. So, like, let's see what it does. You can see we have lots of different cubes. Uh, the black cubes are the inputs for the robots. Uh, we have distance sensors, light sensors, temperature sensors. We have a knob that lets you select a value. And then the uh, transparent cubes are the outputs for your robot. We've got wheels, flashlights, uh, ones that rotate, uh, bar graphs. So by putting the cubes together in different ways, your robot will do different things. Uh, your most simple robot has three parts. Power, every robot needs power an input of some kind, I have a distance sensor here, and then an output, uh, wheels. So as my hand gets closer to the distance sensor, the it outputs a larger value. The drive block reads in that value and starts spinning the wheels at an appropriate rate. So as I get closer to the distance sensor, it starts driving away from my hand. And then you can keep adding on to that. You can add uh, a bar graph. So now you can see what value the distance sensor is outputting. And then you can keep building complexity on there. You can add inputs. You can add outputs. Uh, here I have a robot um, that has two distance sensors and then two drive cubes. So those are similar to what we had before. But now I also have a blocker in between. It passes power between the two sides, but it doesn't allow any communication. So now I have a robot that I can steer around the table. Um, and what's cool about this robot is there's six cubes. Each one has a very simple task. It senses distance or it outputs, uh, it spins wheels. Um, but now we have a robot that is more complex and it can interact with me. It can interact with its environment. Um, so it's a neat learning tool for kids. They can get into robotics. They can learn about the complexi complexity in the world and how simple components can be put together to build larger structures. So how, how like, uh... How much does this cost, or, or what? A, a kid, what? A parent wants to buy this for the kid. What are they buying at first, and how much does it cost? Yeah, right now uh, through our website, we have a starter kit of six cubes uh, for one hundred and sixty dollars, and then soon we'll open it up so you can have buy individual cubes, so you can expand your kit in whatever direction you want to, and those cost twenty to thirty dollars depending on the complexity of the cube. And what's the recommended age? Right now we're uh, looking at ages 8 and up, um, but we've had even younger kids that play and they start by just kind of putting blocks together because it's a really satisfying sound and they build the tallest structure they can. But then they build something that actually does something. It lights up or the wheels start to spin and they kind of get spooked by it. But then they start to investigate a little more and they start moving it around and finding out how cubes next to other cubes can interact and they start building their cars that drive the fastest or have spinning flashing sirens that go on. And what's the biggest functioning robot you've ever made with the cubes? Um, back in our lab we built a robot with maybe 30 to 35 cubes uh, that was a, actually a line following robot. So we had some dark tape on a white table and it was able to follow the line around. And how many different cubits are available? We have uh, 15 different cubes that you can uh, buy. Uh, they're in three categories, uh, the sense cubes, the action cubes, and then the think cubes, which modify the data. And then there's the power cube. Well, and how did this start? Uh, it was a PhD project about five years ago at Carnegie Mellon University, and then uh, became a company about two years ago in Boulder, Colorado. And were you part of the PhD project? Or? No, I was, and I got on about a year and a half ago. Cool. And what's the website if people want to check it out? Uh, our website is uh, modrobotics.com. Modrobotics.com. We're checking out Cubelets from Modular Robotics at Eureka Park. That was another exclusive video from CES 2012 from TDGN on Slacker Radio and thedroidguide.com.